Thanksgiving 2017, so I'm gonna do a little vlog, Thanksgiving vlog today. Um, it is currently 10.30. Um, we're gonna be starting to cook really, really soon. But I wanted to show you guys, um, I just had somebody, and I don't know how or who, or somebody's trying to kill me. No, I'm just kidding. But somebody from, I guess, a church dropped off some food for, for Thanksgiving, so that's what it is. That was nice of them. We're gonna be cooking, um, and then I also have to put some clothes away from yesterday. Um, it's a disaster. And then, yeah. So, let's see what my kids are doing right now. Here's one of them, and I washed, that's why I have no sheet, I wash clothes, but. Here's one child. I eat chocolate candy. You eat chocolate candy? Yeah. You took my chocolate candy. Little brat. It's what's in the box and I eat it. Mm. And look at this little princess. She's all stopped like, uh, okay, what are you doing, Mom? I actually have to get her dressed and get him dressed. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Say happy Thanksgiving. Mom. Huh? You you look in the TV and he. Yep, and he's watching some sort of thing with a RoboCop. It's it's that rose. Oh. Can you say happy Thanksgiving? It's the rescue team. Rescue team. Ooh. Can you say happy Thanksgiving? Ani. He's so shy. Ani. You tell him. Say happy Thanksgiving. Nope. <laughs> She got all quiet. Curly. I'm acting all shy. So yes, and then I gotta clean up the room. What? Yeah, I have donkey farms. No, no, no. We're gonna be eating um, turkey dinner soon. My mom's gonna be doing some cooking. So, and then I gotta clean up my room, but I'll be back after. Okay, guys. So, for my husband here, say hi. Hey, what's up? Sorry for the hair. I'm not ready. <laughs> and he's, wow, that's a big bowl of. Lucky Charms. He's giving some Lucky Charms to Alex, who's sitting watching TV. This mine's. That is not yours. <laughs> and then we're setting everything up so that way we can do some of the recipes uh, for you guys. Yeah. Love Thanksgiving. First thing we're going to show is the turkey. Okay, the turkey, um, we got a butterball turkey. So the butterball turkey was about 12 pounds. $13.99, so not too bad. It's a little smaller than what we're used to. But it's a good price but for butterball. Butterball is the best turkey you can buy. Yeah. And no. we have the stuffing. We're gonna stuff, uh, make the stuffing. It's just a basic stuffing. It's a stove top. And we're just gonna add, we're gonna cut half an apple and slice it up really thin and just add it to the stuffing. It gives it extra flavor. Yep. We bought this ham at Winn-Dixie. It was for $6. It was one per customer and you had to make a $30 purchase with the plenty card. Um, but they do this basically every single year, so yeah. But um, so we got the ham, and we're gonna top it off with the um, pumpkin pie pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie spice, and then I'm gonna take and put just a little bit of um, mix the pumpkin pie spice in with just the pancake syrup, and we're gonna use that as a, a glaze. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. do something different. What we're gonna do is we have some cranberries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cook a few of them and make like a we have different recipes for these, but yeah, we're gonna cook a couple of them to put in with the ham. Just and to put in the glaze. So it's gonna yeah. be cranberry, pumpkin pie spice, and pancake mix, and we're gonna mix that all together, and then we're gonna use it just as a glaze for here, just for the ham. So what I'm also gonna do is make a butternut squash with cranberries and feta. Um, I found this actually on Pinterest, but I'll do the rest. Of, I'll do a video. For you guys and I'll leave it in the card up here but um it's gonna be with cranberries butternut squash feta cheese and honey glaze um and yeah so that's for that and then we have sweet potatoes that we're gonna make so we have just the yams butter some garlic salt some vanilla extract some cinnamon sugar and this is all natural yeah that's a, that's a really good one and I this spent is a lot of great money garlic salt is the best you can buy yep and then we have some pumpkin pie spice some marshmallows. Smarshmallows, as my son <laughs> says. 
And then we have some light brown sugar. I guess I could have gone in Sweet way. potatoes and butter. Sweet potatoes, and then we also have this syrup that's gonna go with that. And the next thing that we have is going to be some um, green bean casserole. So we have the fresh green beans here. I don't like using cans. I'd rather do as fresh as, can as I can. And we have some French fried onions. And then we have cream of mushroom soup. And then we are gonna have a stick of butter, butter to that. And of course to top it off with the garlic salt. Yep, and the garlic salt. All right, so my little boy is gonna be helping me kind of show you guys some things that we're gonna be, um, the, the next thing that we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be making um, a pot um, mashed potato. And this is what I'm gonna use in it. I have red potatoes and I use with the skin as well. Um, and then I have Mommy, the, yeah. Where are we going to make it? We're gonna make it here at home. And here for my cake home? Not cake, this is for Thanksgiving. And we have some Land O'Lakes Rich and Creamy Heavy Whipping what is Cream. This? That's heavy whipping cream. And then right here we have some milk. buttermilk. Buttermilk. Do you like buttermilk? Mm -hmm. You're not sure. Look. And then, yep, yeah, and then we have some Gouda cheese. This is my secret Ooh, I like ingredient. I, we all like cheese. I was cheese. so already open. I know, because I made some the other day. And then we have some chives, which this is just like the dry chives that I bought from Winn-Dixie. And, and we then, have crepes. Yep. And that's butter. not crepes, that's cranberries. And we have crepes. And this. And that's butter. And butter. So that's basically what it takes to make Ooh, my... I like butter. I know. That's what it takes to make our mashed potatoes. Um, with the chives. I'm going to hold it in a little while. You want to hold it for a little while? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's stuck. Um, I caught it. <laughs> Say happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Say happy Thanksgiving. No. Say happy Thanksgiving. No. He's shy, guys. So that's basically what we've got going on. My mom's getting the turkey together. I'm, pre I'm going to preheat the oven at 325. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the... Oh, I got a hot toy! Right, I'm going to open up the turkey and I'm going to get... The giblets and stuff that's inside them. And that I'm going to use as a base. That bad boy right the water there. For the stuffing. It actually, this stuff in here just calls for basically just to boil it, um, just to cook it with water. But if you use the insides of the turkey, it makes it a lot more flavorful. Let me really put that there for a minute. Everything, or turkey. Everything's been cleaned and sterilized. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> See him, buddy. I wonder if it's true what they say when turkeys, Mommy, with the, um, when you cut their heads off, Mommy. they still chase you. Some uh, chickens Mommy. right now. I don't know about turkeys. Oh, baby. I caught a heart and, and, and an assassination. Oh. What? What? I Ew. Ew. I thought they dripped us out of uh, the goodies. Yeah. Some people, after they boil this, over. they cut it up and add it to the stuffing, Mommy. but I just use it for the flavoring for the water. Mommy. I don't usually do that because not everybody appreciates. Mommy. What is that? Turkey. It's a turkey. Turkey innards. Ew. I just rinse the turkey inside and out. What happens is what this does, it actually helps to remove some of the bacteria, even though they're packed and frozen right away. It's still when you um, thaw them out and let them set, bacteria can set in, so. Okay, the turkey is all washed and cleaned and everything and getting ready to be stuffed. Uh, what I did was I took the innards out of the turkey and I put them in the water. You just put enough water in just to kind of like almost cover up the innards and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and add some garlic salt just, ooh, just a little flavor I wasn't going to add that much 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to boil. And once it boils, this is a blooper, people. <laughs> and once it boils, we're going to use this. We're going to drain the water out, and we're going to actually use it in the stuffing. I'm probably not going to be using all this water because this is we only have this one box of stuffing. But now all we have to do right now is to wait until this boils and I make the stuffing. Okay, some people add onion, extra onion in with the stuffing. I'm not going to do that because we have a couple of people here that do not like onions. I like onions. <laughs> Who don't like onions? Oh, Alex doesn't like them. Oh. Haley don't like them. You want the stuffing to not be really soupy or anything, but you don't want it to, to be too dry either. Um, this is about the right consistency. As you can see, it's it looks moist, but it's not, you know, it's not too dry and it's not too mushy. Now we're going to take the turkey. And we are going to stuff it. Fun part. <laughs> are you going to put a whole apple in there too? Or cut in half apple? Um, no. Um, some people do. They put a whole apple in the back. But since this is a small turkey, the apple that I sliced up and added to it should, be, should get enough uh, flavor. Because I want to be able to have enough room to put all the stuff in here. And if I put all that extra stuff in there, I won't have enough room. You want to put the stuffing in so that it's just about even with this. You don't want to overstuff it because if you put the stuffing in, like overstuffing on the top there, it's going to come through. And every little bit. Yep, as much as I can. Put in there. And you notice I'm trying not to handle the stuffing because actually when you handle the stuffing, the bacteria and stuff from your hands, even though your hands are clean, it still gets in it and it can cause food poisoning. So we're gonna make sure that nobody gets sick. Thank you. This one, this turkey here does not have a flap where you can close it. It just has where the legs are attached together. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like take this off so it looks better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this turkey in a roasting bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of oil and I'm just going to put it on the top so that it doesn't stick in the bag. You can use any kind of oil, it doesn't matter. And since I'm boiling it in the, I'm um, boiling it. Since I'm baking it in the bag, I'm not going to be having to um, baste it a lot, and I'm not going to put anything on the top of any seasonings or anything, because boiling it in the bag, the seasonings is just, just going to drip and down into the gravy part anyway. So it would be really just a waste of time. All right, so we got the turkey inside the bag, and she just poked some holes in it, and then. We also have a thing underneath to help it so when we take it out it's not going all over and falling. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to be putting it into the oven. here. We have it again on 325 degrees. And we're going to let that bad boy roast for how long? Um, about three, three and a half hours. About three and a half hours. Okay. It so. could be a little bit less because I am roasting it in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, this was uh, roasting it by the oven the regular way. So that usually, when you roast, when you uh, bake it in the bag, it usually saves you about a half an hour. Got it. All right. So we got the yams in here. And don't know what that is, but we got the mini marshmallows and the brown sugar. My mother just took out the giblets and put it in there. And <laughs> Look at this beautiful Ooh. little turkey right here. You walk right into the hot cover. Careful, Haley. Haley, say happy Mommy. Thanksgiving. Mommy. What? 
Look. I know. It's all the stuff up there. Jesse. Yeah. This is the um Mommy. the juice from the sweet potatoes Mommy. that I saved because I'm gonna use that. Okay. All the rest Mommy. of the sweet potatoes were drained and Mommy. Drained. Look. What? Yeah, let's leave that alone though. Say hi. Say hi, pretty girls. <laughs> She's playing hard to get. Lily. So while my mom did some cooking, I went and got us some Starbucks and they didn't put the lid on right. So a good amount of her coffee dripped. That's okay. And I got the toasted, oh geez, I got all sorts of stuff on that. I got the toasted cranberry white mocha for my drink. It is delicious. Haley. Hi. It was raining. It was like literally so dark outside. And now it's back to being nice and bright. All right, so I'm taking out some of, we're taking out some of the seeds from the squash and we're gonna cut it up into tiny little cubes. And Jesse, you can do the cutting up. I'm just taking this out so that I can peel it. You hear her? Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. If you don't, I don't care. You can smell my underwear. Oh wait, no, that's Halloween. Come on, one. All right, so going back to this. Just taking out all the goods. You. All right, guys, we're about to go to Black Friday. We're going. Uh, yeah, we're going to Walmart. And uh, what you gonna get? I'm gonna get an iPhone 6 for 125. iPhone 6 is pretty old. I don't care. I've never had an iPhone, so. Okay, me. Uh, I'm, me, I'm just gonna shop around. Uh, I probably won't buy nothing. That's smart. Just keep your money in your wallet. He's gonna buy an Xbox, you guys. No, no Xbox. I already got one. But New one. yeah, we're gonna go right now. We're gonna check this out. We um, we still haven't ate our turkey yet because it's still oh, being cooked. I know. So we are about to go. All right, guys. So we are going to Walmart for the Black Friday. Um, we are gonna check out all the deals that they have. It's currently five o'clock. They open up their stores at six o'clock. Um, we are waiting on the dinner still. We haven't eaten yet. Um, but when we come back, that's when we're going to probably eat. But I am going to let the kids eat. And then they'll probably be, probably be in bed by then. Because my mom's watching them for us. Um, so that's the plan right now. So, yeah. We're going to try to show you what's in, uh, what's in Walmart. Alright guys, this is it. We're in Walmart. We are in Walmart. Check that out. Focus. <laughs> Yo, check this out. See, Look at the parking open. lot. Until... Look at the parking lot. That thing is packed. That thing is packed, man. So it's mad early right now. So people got their stuff. I mean, people got their money ready. People looking at me and be like, damn, this dude got a nice big camera. All right guys, so real quick, um, we got back really, really late. Um, I did end up getting the iPhone. My husband, he didn't really get anything, but that's basically the end of this vlog. Um, I couldn't really show anything because it was really, really dark and really late. Um, and the turkey had already been cut into and everything, but um, around Christmas, I'm gonna be doing another one. So definitely keep an eye out for that and I'll be showing everything after. But yeah, and Black Friday was crazy. Um, I can only imagine how next year's gonna be, but anyway, thanks for watching the video, you guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that way you can get more videos from us. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so this is Jessica. Um, I have my mom here. She's gonna be walking us through all like the stuff for the holiday. Now there is a couple of things we forgot to got forgot to get, which is the turkey and the stuffing. Well, we didn't really forget it.